Okay, hello everyone. <clears throat> I would like to talk about this annoying arrow. As you can see immediately right now, I'm just putting a very fast video to help you guys. I encounter this annoying arrow and I think it's help somebody else, so I'll do it. So first of all, we'll try to connect from C Sharp or any other uh, programming language directly to MySQL uh, using remote uh, connection, remote uh, access. And uh, you will see immediately we get an exception of uh, the number of the example will be zero. Okay, and this is annoying uh, probably because we don't know what, what is zero. So we'll, I will make a quick, tri quick trick. I will take the connection out of the try and then I will see using C sharp the message. I can write the code to show the me message. But uh, this is uh, okay. We'll try to connect right now. We will make a few seconds. And there I see authorization to host. This is my internal number. Is uh, for user root number one using method MySQL native password failed with method access denied for user root one. Now I've been trying a lot in the internet to find the solution for this and I didn't and it's extremely extremely simple and uh, I will uh, show you right now the solution so let's go let's make a stop it's a little slow since I'm recording the video sorry apologize okay and then we will go to uh, my PHP so I will go my PHP admin we'll do it in steps then we'll go to user account and assume I would like to grant access to root one I already created this root one this user already created and gave it all the privileges I can so I will select root one okay here go this line and edit privilege and here I will go to login information I will click on login information and I will change on host name from local to any host. I will explain later what it does, but any host. Then I will write my password. Okay. And then I will rewrite, retype. And um, I will click go in the end of the screen. And that's it. Here you can see the actually uh, script if you want. Then I will go again to my C sharp, execute it. That's it. It's working. I made the insertion to I made a test. I can see my version of my SQL I'm using, and uh, I can, as you see, I'm. Uh, and execute programs now let's see let's go to the website let's go to my PMI PHP admin and uh, the code was for uh, this database so this is a test database only for testing as you can see here it was inserted a new record that is only very very simple for testing but uh, so uh, let's go a little uh, to the website and uh, to the to the PHP um, and uh, let's let's understand what we have really done. We're gonna go to privilege, and we go we gonna we can see right now that we have two host name that root uh, one have a privilege. One is a local host. That means if you run, if you build a program that's running locally in the same server, and this will be um, uh, um, the same server that run the PHP, that will be a local host. So we given a, a privilege. However, if you want to go and log in for remote server, different IP, even in the uh, so you will have 
to, from the from your IP of your server, you will have to give him a, a privilege of host name of a wild. This is a wild. The wild here is it can be any type of an IP. If you want, would like to give him a privilege for specific IP, so you will have to write um, specific IP here. But this will give any type of IP address and uh, this is one thing another issue another big issue is in the beginning of the uh, when you install your for example Ubuntu or Raspberry Pi here it's I will do it I, I use Raspberry Pi for testing but in Dell I use Ubuntu you need to configure the the, the config server of the of the uh, a MariaDB so if you go to a Raspberry Pi we will go to sudo nano and all this uh, full I will make a link in the um, video and uh, here you need to find where there is a bind address okay bind address so if you, if it's a 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 okay this will mean it can be connected to any type it will bind any type it's it's the it will it will listen to any type of ip okay and you can make a specific ip address that will that will that the the client will have the specific ip to grant access to the server so in the beginning by the way in the beginning of this is bind address okay it's not going to be like this okay so once again you need to go to the file and uh as mentioned here and uh you will have to again as i said you will have to go and uh, change uh, where is it? Here is it. Bind address, bind address it here. So 0 .0 0 .0 0 0.0.0.0 will be that you can listen to every uh, port that the client is is has. Now since the, since I'm recording, the it's very slow. But anyway, after that. After, after that okay what you will have to do is restart when you change the, you need to restart the the, uh, the 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 server restart only the the service of mysql and mariadb you can do it uh, um, like this sudo with, su with sudo with restart mariadb service and before that it's better to do the sql also Restart. Let me see. Oh, this is my SQL. I'm gonna do first of all the MySQL, then the MariaDB. And then, if you're gonna use a grep to see uh, net start grep on port 3306, you can see right now it's binding to 0 .0 0.0.0.0 if you're gonna see uh, that it's binding to 1 to uh, 7.0.0.1 that's mean it's bound to locally that's mean you can only grant access from your local server program to a local server it means you, you run the program in the same server this ability give you that the client will have uh, it's binding to any type of IP um hope this is help you and one one little thing that you need to remember if this is uh, not a testing web server for you so you need to log in information and then oh, it's so slow login information uh okay let's try from the beginning oh, it's so slow sorry for that user account 
and you need to delete this line because this almost give any grant access to the database uh, for any user although he know he need to know the password and all this but so in order to delete it okay we're gonna go to SQL and we will write uh, drop user and the username here I gave is was a uh, root one uh, root one and uh, I will write here and the syntax will be like this percent the grant access from any IP to the remote oh, I'm giving this error command drop user vote one at a percent percent will be the IP uh, wild percent we give that we'll get uh, uh, deleted from and now if you're gonna go to look and see um, user account and you see that root one and only right now have grant access to local host the percentage like in root in just root user was deleted okay I'm sorry this is not an editable um, video just maybe will help us some of you in the future it helped me thanks and goodbye